Hi there, welcome to Heart Echo Ministries. You've got us traveling here today, but we have a powerful message today from Matthew 10. Dylan's got the weekend off, so he's with his family for the Thanksgiving weekend. But I am here to share with you something very cool that um, opened up for me this week, and it's really, really awesome. And it's when Jesus sends out the 12th. So let's dive in, guys. This is very exciting. Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judah, Judas, Iscar Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. We all know who that is. Whew. Boy, there's lots of uh, Judases that, when you consider it all joy, taking on trials, uh, many times there's um, a Judas to be dealt with, right? So these 12, Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. And as you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Mm. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or staff. For the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person to stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Mm. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in the synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will, not, it will not be you speaking, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death. And father his child. Children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by everyone because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. When you are persecuted in one place, flee to another. Truly I tell you, you will not finish going through the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The student is not above the teacher, nor the servant above his master. It is enough for students to be like their teachers and servants like their masters if the head of the house has been called Beelzebub. How much more the members of his household. So do not be afraid of them. 
for there is nothing concealed. I love this. There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn, this is a hard verse, I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves their father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves their son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up their cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. Powerful, powerful. You know, there's so much said in the self-help industry that says, oh, I gotta find myself. I've got to, I'm going off to find myself. It says, whoever finds their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Do, did you suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth? I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, a man's enemies will be the members of his own household. You know, that reminds me of uh, when Greg and I went to uh, the Lincoln Theater at Disneyland and how it talked about in the Civil War that brother was turned against brother. There is something that I read also in Revelation this last week that was really, really powerful about how Jesus came back on his horse and, you know, with the sword, the sword of the word, the sword of the truth. There's so much that when you are sold out a hundred percent and one of my favorite parts of this whole chapter 10, do not be afraid of these people for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. That is something I love because whoever does these evil schemes in private or meets in a person's home to discredit someone who is not deserving of being discredited. My goodness, watch out, watch out. Because the very impalement that you set up for someone else just very well me made prepared for the person who did it to someone else. Who is innocent. 
and I just I love that you know it's not really popular to uh, follow Jesus to follow his ways to follow uh, the truth of what you know in your heart to be for real there's going to be other people that are not going to be able not receive you into their home but um, the Lord says wipe the dust off your feet move on you don't ever have to be anywhere where you are not received because really our family in the body of Christ they will receive you that there are there's a spirit inside of us that bears witness with another spirit who 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 loves the Lord who loves God they are going to welcome you into their home and whoever doesn't shake the dust off your feet so with that it's a very meaty full of powerful powerful quotes here even by Jesus himself all this is in red because he says do not be afraid of those who kill the body but who cannot kill the soul okay so there we go Craig's um, doing his thing and driving um, however he wants so why don't we kind of move to Greg what came up for you just hearing the scripture I uh, really love Matthew I think he took the best notes and um, you know of everybody was the most accurate so uh, you know it's a tough like you said it's a really tough scripture so you know you really have to put Jesus first and put God first and um, you know so many people have those out of order I know I did and when I got God first wife second family third work fourth that's the priority that seems to be working the best so passes all the tests yes. that's it. you know you. There, there was something really beautiful that mom had given me um, just this last week and it's from Psalm 37 and we'll close with this right do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong for like the grass they will soon wither like green plants they will soon die trust in the Lord and do good dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart commit your way to the Lord trust in him and he will do this he will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn your vindication like the noonday sun be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him do not fret when people succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes refrain from anger and turn from wrath do not fret it leads only to evil for those who are evil will be destroyed but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land a little while and the wicked will be no more though you look for them they will not be found but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity the wicked plot against the righteous mm. and gnash their teeth at them but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he knows their days are coming the wicked draw the sword and bend the bow and bring down the poor and the needy to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. But the wicked will perish, though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field. They will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously mm. those the Lord blesses will inherit the land but those he curses will be destroyed the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him though he may stumble he will not fall for the Lord upholds him 
with his hand. I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom and their tongues speak what is just. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, intent on putting them to death. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Hope in the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like the luxuriant native tree, but soon passed away and was no more. Mm. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. A future awaits those who seek peace, but all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the wicked. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Mm, beautiful Psalms. I love David. And you know, this is so many of these uh, parts of David was when he was hiding from Saul who was hounding him, who was after him unjustly but it was really it was because of jealousy it was because of jealousy that Saul was pursuing him and uh, jealousy is an ugly thing in the end days here that we're facing and um, the evil is just uh, hmm. hopefully as we saw here in the scripture is being exposed so God bless you and have an amazing week and know that we here at Heart Echo Ministries, we love you and we look forward to seeing you back here next Sunday. Dylan will be back and we'll uh, see you then. Until then, we just ask that Holy Spirit, Father God and Jesus, put your loving arms around everyone who hears this message this week. Father, I just pray that as we dwell in the shelter of the Most High, that we will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye-bye.